Hey again, YouTube. Welcome back. This is Bailey Mage, and uh, we thought we'd do a little bit of a pre-harvest video, uh, but I thought I'd take a slightly different approach this time to what everyone else is doing. Everyone else is putting out league guides. Uh, we have updated all of our guides on the website, but instead of putting out a YouTube video with these are the suggested build guides or these are my build guides that I've finished, I thought I would put together a video of things you should know and be using in a fresh league to get the very best league start that you can possibly get. So I filled out a little notepad. We're going to, we're going to go through it. I'm going to show you all the extensions and websites and other things that experienced people use to have the smoothest league start we can possibly have, assuming you know nothing. So we're going to start with path of building fork. Um, again, all of the links to this will be in the description of the video, the links to everything. So the first thing to note is path of building fork. Um, don't worry about the specific build you've got here, but the old path of building that we were using before doesn't actually work anymore. Well, it, it sort of works, but it doesn't really get updates. It's too late. Quickest way to tell it's written down here, which you can't quite see because of the overlay. Let's get rid of the overlay. Boom. So it's written down here, POB community fork, but also resistances and um, uh, attributes are colored. If they're not colored on your screen, then you've got the regular fork, the, the regular path of building, not fork. You need fork now. You will need fork going forward. So moving on from that, uh, there are a few add-ons that I use specifically should be used on web browsers. So there's two for Path of Exile. Well, one specifically that's very important for the official trade site for Path of Exile slash trade, and that is Better Trading. Now it is a Chrome and Firefox extension and it allows you to save searches and save them in groups. Um, so for instance, I have a search for an explodey chest if I want to be able to awaken an orb and explode chest in with something else. And this is a nice complicated in-depth search that took us a little bit to set up, right? I've said not having all of these modifiers must have this modifier, like set things up really, really well in quite an annoying way, but I was willing to do that because now it is permanently saved here. And you can do that for all sorts of things. You can, you can set up all of the gear you're going to search for or things you want, and you can just have them saved here. And if you ever close off the browser, restart your computer, anything like that, all of your searches will be saved. Um, as well as this extension, which is called POE Trade Enhancer, which has two things, one that's important and one that some people will use. The important one is that it has the chaos equivalent. It just, it just adds that chaos equivalent. So we now know exactly how much chaos or if something is 0.9 of an X, it'll tell you what the equivalent of that is. So it's five X and 166 chaos in standard right now, because that's the only league we have to show you. So that gets added in. That's very nice. Uh, it also has a somewhat finicky thing where you can save individual searches in here. And then you can actually open them all together once you've saved them and have multiple live searches going into the same browsers like window, which is very, very useful. Um, that one's less important. If that sounds too confusing, I get it, but definitely go with better trading, better trading extension helps a lot. Again, links in the description. Uh, there are two add-ons that I think we should be using uh, right now. The only trade add-ons that I believe work properly, especially with the Vulcan client, is PoE Trade Companion and Awaken PoE Trade. So Awaken PoE Trade will let you price generic things very quickly. So leveled or quality or corrupted or vile gems, um, uniques with and and be able to search for ranges and stuff in them. You don't 
really want to trust it to search for rares, but it lets you at least price those sort of things um, relatively quickly and easily. And then PoE Trade Companion is a better replacement for the old Mercury Trade or anything else you use that's like that and what it will do is it will pop up a little box in game when someone whispers you to buy something and it'll put a little square up near your near your stash tab and it'll tell you oh it's in the stash tab named 10c and it's in this square and so you'll just be able to go straight to it pull that item out and do the trade and so that just really helps both of them require auto hotkey um but that's pretty standard for most things uh there's also these overlay things have been not working with the vulcan client by default so somebody very nice from the poe community made a auto hotkey script that turns windowed mode into borderless windowed mode so all that all that means is that we will set poe to windowed mode run that auto hotkey script and that will fake it back into borderless windowed mode and then you will just forget that that's running and exists and just you'll be able to run overlays once that works um so those are all of the add-ons and then there are a list of websites we'll start with the obvious one which is pathofexile.com trade which is the best place to be doing most of your trades i know a lot of people are still using poe.trade or other things they're just not as good they're not as quick they're not as useful do change over to this uh second little bit of shameless self-promotion uh if especially for soft core trade uh we made an atlas guide it is a written atlas guide it is incredibly in-depth and broken down to individual how you get your stones and whatnot um i want to say i quadrupled the speed at which i collect stones by learning this and i only learned it this league and i have to say that like 95 percent of people who are completing their atlases at high speeds have been doing it slower than it could have been done it's actually way quicker than i thought even or that anyone i spoke to thought it can be done way quicker you can collect every single stone a lot quicker you can do the whole first like 16 stones without ever leaving yellow maps you can even get to 20 if you're lucky although usually you'll end up in low reds etc this atlas guide absolutely fantastic it's a few pages long it is written but i really suggest people familiarize themselves with it few other websites again all of these websites will be linked below for people to bookmark few other websites poemap.live this is incredibly useful for the first two weeks of a league and then almost useless and all this lets you do is collect maps very very quickly very very easily so you click on the tier of map that you're up to you select the maps that you have i think it's have on this side yep you select the maps that you have on this side and then you select the maps that you want on this side and you hit start and what it will do is it will live match you with these people almost always reply because this website will log you out after like two minutes if you're not active and it's very active in the first few weeks so these people will always reply and what it is is directly trading your map for another map of the same tier and so this will let you get fill in those holes in the atlas without having to buy maps but rather trade your map for another map very very good in the first two weeks slows down in week three almost useless by week four uh some other basic ones poe lab it's just poelab.com again link in the descriptions where you can click on a lab and get shown what the layout is for that lab which is incredibly useful so that's a good one to have uh we'll put that one last because it's big next craft of exile um this is a pretty heavy crafting league and a lot of the lead mechanic crafts look very interesting but before you can use them you need to have a base item that you can use now we'll have picked up some but surely we're going to want to do some crafting to get an almost brilliant item that we then alter with the new crafting mechanisms 
craft of exile is an absolutely fantastic way to do all that everything is sorted out on here you can pick all of the bases you want you can decide which affixes that you want and then you can make it tell you real-time simulations run simulations you can have it tell you how many fossils or or chaos spamming or essence spamming or things it will take on average to get the things that you're after very useful i, I highly suggest craft of exile uh, the next one is slightly more advanced and maybe even less helpful nowadays but i still do rely on it quite a bit and that's poedb.tw and that is where i go to just find all my mod ranges like it's very easy there's a lot of stuff here um, this may be a bit more advanced so not necessary for a lot of people but you can easily go over to like say i want to look at jewelry and then it'll tell you all the roles that can exist on jewelry at all and where they are and then if you click on one of them it'll tell you what level you need to be and what the roles and tiers are on every single piece you can select fossils and it'll decide which mods can still exist and which extra mods exist you'll see when i tick this extra things happen it's like you know 10 times more likely for that 10 times more likely for that if i go with tick a different one you'll see mods disappear because it's it says the fossil says you know cannot uh, no cold modifiers so like every cold modifier disappears from the whole thing so i find that very useful and you can always use that in conjunction with craft of exile to like get a rough idea of what might be available and then craft of exile will tell you you know the best way to craft that and roughly how much it'll cost peewee ninja is particularly useful um people mostly use it for builds but it actually tracks the price of things really really well so all of the uniques um essence fossils divination cards all that sort of thing oils watchstones you can track where they are very very easily um so if you have a look at a fragment and you're like oh i thought that should be more expensive and then you can you can quickly have a look here and be like oh i want to see the fragment and it'll show you a graph of what's happened to it in the last seven days and if you happen to see it shooting up maybe you want to decide to wait a day before selling it let it jump higher maybe you're like oh i think that's going to be near the top of the curve i'm going to sell it now right like there's all sorts of things that are useful in here again slightly more advanced newer players probably don't need to worry about it then this is the big one this is the big one poe app has existed for quite a while i'm going to say that a lot of your like quote unquote top one percenters use this and then don't tell anyone so the reason we would use this is to buy items in bulk that do not stack so we go over to currency exchange and i'm going to demonstrate what i mean let's say i'm trying to complete tier 16 maps i want them but i don't have enough maps but what i do have is some currency now normally you would have to individually trade for all of these maps but let's say i want that one 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 and that one those are all my uncompleted maps i can go up here and say include sellers that have two or more items for sale then i hit search and suddenly i find people who have all nine of the items that i want for sale also people selling in bulk and all sorts of stuff so i can take this button up the top here and then it'll say hi i would like to buy your one and then it lists every single map for this amount of chaos total in for now it's standard because we're in standard but that will work in the league um, this can also be used to buy prophecies in bulk scarabs watchstones basically anything that doesn't stack and doesn't show up on the currency area so that you can you know bulk exchange them right here because it's pretty easy to bulk buy when you're just bulk buying a divine orb or a fuse or a whatever right we can bulk buy stuff from this page but bulk buying things that don't sell in that don't stack becomes very very easy when done through poe app so i highly highly suggest that um right as far as quickly what i will be starting with uh, all of our build guides have been updated um so all four of those are now up to date which is great and i'm personally going to be starting with dominating plow um we just did yesterday a collab with zizarin 
who is amazing and he put out a video on this guide um, i've had a few questions about which path of building i should use which paste bin it doesn't matter it's the same build they're they're laid out in slightly different fashions because my paste bin is laid out the way i like it and the one he's using is laid out the way he likes it however it's the exact same build uh, so this is what i'm going to be starting with and uh i think it's going to be quite powerful and that's it for me because i'm going to go to sleep and try and wake up early to fix all of our loot filters so i will see everybody later goodbye